Maxi and Co. by Melada Devet. Hello, my little friends. Welcome to Melada Devet's evening of fairy tales. Today, I will read you the first story from the book that is called Maxi and Co. Make yourself comfortable and listen to the story number one that is called Maxi and Cute. Early in the morning, a tender sun ray looked inside the window of a tiny little house. It was standing on a stub that was covered with green and succulent grass at the edge of the forest glade. It was Maxi's home. Good morning, my dear Maxi. The sun always woke her up with its warm touch. Good morning, Daddy. Sleepy Maxi has just opened her big green eyes and smiled. An amazing new day was waiting for her. She got up, did her morning exercise and brushed her teeth. Maxi was thinking about interesting adventures that were waiting ahead. She put her favorite mirror in her little bag and went outside. As usual, she was chewing her favorite cheddar cheese stick. The weather was wonderful. The bright sunlight covered the glade with a veil of tiny transparent glimmering dots. Maxi had a feeling that billions of golden grains were hovering in the air. What a beauty! she exclaimed curiously, looking inside a dewdrop that was hanging like a small tear on a blade. Suddenly, she noticed a bigger one in the form of a pear which was hanging from the leaf. It was a sparkling little drop that resembled a glass ball from a Christmas tree. It reflected Maxi perfectly. A little fox was too busy making faces in front of that dewdrop. She came closer, stepped further, jumped suddenly from a side and crept slowly from the corner looking at her reflection. She was having so much fun. Every time it was something different. Either her nose was as big as Auntie Spiggy's or her eyes were as wide as Uncle Boo's. But it was always so funny. She kept on laughing and giggling, playing and peeking curiously in this big drop of morning freshness. Maxie was so busy that she failed to notice a butterfly gazing at her. The butterfly was wondering what made the pretty fox so happy. She flew closer. Maxie still didn't realize she wasn't alone. Nothing helped until the flying fairy also picked into the droplet. A cute butterfly started laughing loudly and was immediately noticed by Maxie. Who are you? asked the little fox. She was quite surprised to see someone. I'm cutie, answered the butterfly. Oh, this name suits you, smiled Maxie. You really are very cute. Oh, thank you, cutie looked embarrassed. I also find you beautiful. And who are you? I'm a little fox and my name is Maxie. I live in the forest in a tiny little house at the edge of the glade that is covered with succulent green grass. Maxie smiled at Cutie. Together they continued picking into droplets and laughing. Soon Maxie realized that her friend might have been hungry and gave the butterfly a piece of her favorite cheese stick. The two girls shared the delicacy and continued their day walking on the fresh grass watching the bizarre forms of clouds above, listening to the birds singing and twittering. After a long and interesting day, Maxie invited Cutie to her place. Cutie didn't have a home of her own. That's why Maxie let her stay in hers for as long as she wanted. Cutie sat on the top of Maxie's ponytail and took a shape of a beautiful bow. Wow! exclaimed Maxie looking in her mirror. You can stay there. I really love the way I look now. I was always trying to find my perfect bow and now I have it. He he he. A cute bow from real cutie, 
the butterfly made a funny face. They both looked very happy. Girls thanked the day for everything good that happened to them and for the amazing experience they had together. Of course, it was a special day, the day when they met each other. Friends kissed goodnight and closed their eyes. Good night, my lovely, said the moon. Good night, mommy, answered Maxu. Your mommy is the moon and your daddy is the sun, right? asked Cutie. Yes, agreed Maxie. That's why your mommy and daddy do not wish you good night together. They live in the opposite sides of the sky, assumed Cutie. You are right. They both have different and very important tasks in their life. The sun opens the door into a new day and the moon shines to those who need to see at night. When the sun wakes up, on the contrary, the moon goes to bed. When the moon wakes up, the sun is about to fall asleep. This is how it was meant to be. If it is not like this, there will be a chaos. If the sun meets the moon, we will have neither days nor nights. The flowers will die and everything will stop its existence. It would be better if the sun and the moon never met. Maxi gave a long answer. Oh, it's so sad, isn't it? Continued Cutie. No, why? I have both of my parents. They are alive and they are present in my life. And both of them are always around. The important thing is, I receive love from both of them, said Maxi, continuing to think aloud. True, they both love you, and only this is important. Good night, my dear, Cutie agreed with the little fox. Sweet dreams, honey, wished Maxi and entered the kingdom of dreams. That's all for today, my little friends. Tomorrow you will find out more about Maxi and her friends. Thank you very much for your time and attention. Milada.